So I'm just going to jump straight in with this look. So first of all I'm going to take the Garnier Skincare Moisturiser and this is just to kind of prime my face. I always like to use a lip balm when doing a full face of makeup so I'm using the Carmex one. And for brows I'm using the PS Pro. I'm just going to start by filling my brows in. I just follow the natural shape of my brows. To prime my eyelids, I'm using a little bit of concealer and just rubbing it in with the Beauty Blender. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to start off with this gorgeous burnt orange shade and I'm going to work it into the crease as my transition colour. You want to just blend it in until you feel like it looks perfect. For the next colour, I'm going to be taking a colour called Cypress Amber and I'm just going to apply that just beneath. So it's going to be like a cut crease but a very light one. Then I'm going to use some concealer and just apply that onto my lids. Then I'm going to pick up this gorgeous colour called Sultry and I'm going to apply that onto my lids. It's so pigmented and so beautiful. It's such a beautiful glittery shimmer. foundation I'm going to take the Dream Satin Liquid and this is in the shade Fawn and I'm going to start bouncing out onto my face with a beauty blender. I really like pouncing it onto my face because this is such a creamy formula and it really blends so well. You do have to layer it up a little bit to get full coverage but it works really well. Now I'm going to take the shade Fairy and I'm going to apply this just below my brows, just on the brow bone, just to add even more definition to the look. Now using the Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to go ahead and conceal and I'm going to use a Wet Beauty Blender to blend it in.
Now for contour, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and this is a cream contour so I like to make sure that I blend this in really well. I'm also going to contour my nose as well. And if you contour on your jawline, it actually really makes a difference. Like if you have a double chin. I probably should have used a smaller brush to contour my nose, but we'll make it work. I'm also going to contour just below my bottom lip because it actually makes them look a bit bigger and also on my cupid's bow. So now taking a wet beauty blender, I'm going to start by blending that in. You want to make sure you blend it in really well otherwise it can leave quite a harsh line. Taking a small beauty blender, I'm going to start by blending that contour onto my nose. So I'm going to go in and set that contour in place, so I'm going to be using the shade and light palette and using this middle shade, I'm just going to go over where I've contoured. making sure to bring it down my neck as well, just so it all blends in properly. So now to set the concealer in place under my eyes, I'm going to be taking that middle shade on the Shade and Light palette, just using a beauty blender. I find this works just as good as a setting powder. Now for bronzer, which I cannot live without, I'm using the Bronze Glow and I'm just going to go over where I've contoured and just bronze it up. Now for a really sharp contour, I'm going to be using that first shade on the Shade and Light palette and I'm going to carve out the contour and I'm going to leave this to bake for a few minutes. So while we wait for that to bake, I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner 
and just lining my waterline. This just makes the eyes look brighter and more open. So now using that burnt orange again, I'm going to be going underneath my eyes with that exact same colour. I've been doing this a lot lately, I just feel like it just adds such a nice look and so much more definition. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotised by the sun. Taking the fairy colour, I'm going to apply that below my brows. Just gives it a nice shimmer. And I'm also going to be applying it into my tear ducts. Using a big brush, I'm going to start by brushing away that setting powder and making sure there's no harsh lines. Now going in with highlighter, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Show Gold. And I've been highlighting my nose lately. I'm also going to be taking the highlighter just above my lip and just below it. Now for lip liner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York lip liner. I think it's in the shade Nugget. And then I'm going to be using the Body Shop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pink Matte. And then over the top of that I'm going to be using Tantalising Talk just for like a, a lip gloss. So to fix that in place, I'm going to be taking a setting spray. And that's it guys, that is the look. I absolutely love this palette and I think this is such a beautiful look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.